so in doing research for this, I heard a number of wrestling personalities who got to know Chris over the years, Chris Adams over the years, say yeah. that when he drank, he would completely lose control and sometimes even become violent. Uh, Jake, did you ever experience that? Uh, he was never violent around me, but I've seen how nasty he could get. Okay. I mean, you've seen it in that match there. there. I mean, he's hitting a woman. Yes. You know, he's giving her pretty solid shots to the chest, you know? Yep. And uh, there's no there's no excuse for that. If you're going to do that in a wrestling match, what the hell will you do in, in your real life? Yes. I mean, if you're going to be doing that when a camera's rolling, what are you doing yeah. when the camera's not rolling? You got that right. Yeah. So now uh, you kind of teased it a little bit earlier here where uh, you initially thought he was a good dude. What was the tipping point for you with Chris Adams where you're like, okay, maybe not a great guy? Just the, just the women thing. Okay. I'd heard that he was very abusive. Man, what a shame because, I mean, you can see the guy's talent on screen. You know, I, I I think he invented that super kick, and now, of course, Shawn Michaels popularized it. But, he, I I mean, looking at that thing, you could argue that his was better. Um, just like, man, uh, that I've heard a lot of people say he kind of torpedoed his own career. Yep, 